Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton Computer Repair, here with a video for you. If you are not a big fan of OBS Studio, or somehow OBS Studio is just having problems, or it's just getting a glitch, or doesn't want to work correctly, then we understand. Pretty much on this video, we're pretty much going to be showing you how to uninstall OBS Studio in Windows 10. Let's go ahead and get started. So first you just go ahead and go to Start. And once you get to there, go ahead and select settings. Once it loads up, select apps, and then the applications are going to load. Just go ahead and scroll down until you see the OBS Studio. There it is, then you'll press uninstall, and you'll probably be prompted again, go ahead and press uninstall. And it tells if you want to select run, go ahead and press yes. And it takes us to this location. Now technically, if it doesn't want to come up and you don't see it there, there's still other ways you can get to it. You can go to the start menu, and you can probably just type in OBS, and this is what you're going to find. Right click on it and select uninstall and I'll take us to programs and features and there is the OBS Studio. You can select it by double clicking it or selecting the uninstall or slash change for changes but then you are going to uninstall it. If it comes to another point that you don't see the shortcuts, that is very odd but it does happen too. You can go ahead and just type in control panel and it might look like this depending you might have the old classic layout or maybe even the older ones that looks like this. Regardless, just go to the regular category. And you can select programs and programs and features, or you can just select the uninstall program. You're pretty much going to get to programs and features regardless. Select for the OBS Studio, you can click it or select uninstall, same thing. And I'll take us to the same pop up, you press accept, and it'll take us to this location. From here, you can go ahead and select the, the pretty much the user settings. If you're going to just come back and you want to leave your user settings, you can go ahead and uncheck that and leave it like that, that in case you want to reinstall. For me, I'm going to pretend like I don't even want this anymore. I'm going to go ahead and just delete also the user settings and press uninstall. And now it's completed and it says show details and pretty much it's closed. Now one of the most common things is that OBS on the uninstall always gets a glitch and it likes to leave those icons like this. This happened to me multiple times and now it disappears. But then here we are again and then you're going to go to here and we're going to see OBS folders that contains the files again. So to do this, here we are going to start menu, we open up the folder and before you click it, right click on it and select more and it says open file location. And then from right here you can go backspace to programs and then from there you can just press delete and now it's removed. And then from that point we can go ahead and just empty the recycle bin. I see right there, recycle bin tools, empty the recycle bin and it's cleared out. Technically you don't have to open it, you can just right click underneath the recycle bin, just press empty the recycle bin. It does the same thing and pretty much that is it. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.